determine if the points given in the table all lie on a line. If they do lie on a line, we will see a constant slope from point to point. So let's calculate the changes and then the ratio to determine the slope. Here we have an increase of 4 in x, an increase of 2 in x, and an increase of 10 in x. Here we see an increase of 5 in y, an increase of 2.5 in y, and an increase of 12.5 in y. Calculating the ratio for the, between the first two points, we would have that the slope is 5 over 4, or as a decimal, 1.25. Here we have m equals 2.5 over 2, or as a decimal, 1.25. And for between the third and fourth ordered pairs, we would have m equals 12.5 over 10, which is again 1.25. Since we see a constant slope, the points all lie on the same line. I should say the points all lie on a line. consider another example. And again, same question. Do these points lie on a line? Alright, so from negative 3 to 2, that's a change of 5. From 2 to 4, that's a change of 2. And from 4 to 8, that's a change of 4. From 5.4 to 3.4, that's a decrease of 2. From 3.4 to 2.8, that's a decrease of 0.6. And from 2.8 to 1, that's a decrease of 1.8. Calculating the ratio, we would have negative 2 over 5, which is negative 0 0.4. We would have, for this, between the second and third order pairs, we would have negative 0 0.6 over 2, which is negative 0 0.3. And I can stop right there. I see that they have different slopes. These points do not lie on a line.